Hi, I'm James, and in today's video I am taking a look at this Dell XPS 15. This is the 9550 model with the nice uh, Infinity display. And this particular machine has had an accident involving some red wine. Um, so what we're going to do is, just as a precaution, we're going to strip the whole machine down uh, and just we believe it should be working okay, but just checking for any signs of any damage inside. Um, so we are going to start by, I've just placed this in, just in case there is any remaining liquid in there, just um, to stop it getting through to the screen and just gives us an indicator if anything has come out. And we are going to flip the machine over and begin removing the screws from the base. So the main screws on this, I believe, are either T5 or T6. So, yep, T5 screws for the Torx head screws. And I'm just going to pick up some of my little ramekins that I use for keeping screws together. So we are just going to, first of all, go around and remove all of these. Uh, this is slightly different from the 9530 that I have myself and looked at a couple years ago. Um, you can see here, rather than sort of the composite base, we have this metal base to the machine and then the sort of carbon fibre effect to the inner rather than to the base. Um, lovely looking machines, nice powerful systems. And the service manual, which I will link in the description, uh, remind me if I've forgotten, as sometimes I do miss out links that I promise in the video. But the service manual from Dell looks pretty good for this model. Um, covers most of the, well, in fact, covers all of the disassembly. I'm not going to be going so far as to remove the screen. Um, if I'm perfectly honest, I will be surprised if anything worse than possibly some damage to some keys has occurred. Um, but, like I say, just as a precaution, uh, the owner wants me to strip this down and check everything over. So, with those torque screws removed, we now need a small Phillips head. And we want to lift up this XPS badge, and under here there are an additional two screws. One. And... Two. I'm going to keep those together because it's fairly obvious which ones are which. Now with that removed it should be a case of find where I've hidden my pry tools. I was out on a job earlier so we just want to get a pry tool and separate off between the base. It's fairly obvious on here being that you have the metal base where you need to slot in and we are just going to lift around here and along the sides go, let's unclip there, and there, and we just lift forward, and that will give us access to inside the system. Now this particular model, unlike the, uh, the 9530 that I had, is a uh, SSD only model, and we can see here there is some liquid inside the system, um, so what we're going to do is start by stripping out the battery and what we'll do is once all of this is out we will clean up any components which may have liquid on them and dry everything out so there is a few drops down here on the speaker which hasn't dried up in the time between this happening and then bringing it to me and it looks like we have, is it, seven screws holding in the battery here. Now 
Now in terms of if you were looking to say upgrade the SSD uh, then at this point with the back off that would be dead simple simply this screw here undo pop out the SSD here and slot in a new one uh, these are uh, what is it it is a uh, in fact this may well be an MVME drive looking at it um, but it is a M2 uh, 2280 for fact, form factor drive uh, like I say that looks to be an MVME drive so you should be able to fit either SATA or MVME uh, depending on whether you value sort of cost or performance if you're fitting a larger drive then we just need to slot out this connector for the battery and if we now lift that like so and there we have the battery removed like I say we'll be giving that a clean up and making sure it is all happy same with there is a little bit evident there that speaker so we're going to clean that up while we're going now next up what we are going to do is we are going to remove the cooler so first of all let's start by removing the fans these each look to have two screws retaining them If we start with this one, and we also have one of the wires passing past it, so we release that. And then again just release the fan connector there that is the first of the fans removed again we can see there's possibly been a tiny bit of liquid through there and on this other side so again for this fan two screws and lift the fan you just that little bit of cable ducting and release that connector as well so with those removed we can now go through and remove the whole heat pipe and heat sink assembly for the graphics card and cooler uh, sorry the graphics card and CPU cooler uh, it's just two heat pipes running across the two heat sinks on here and you have one on each side and while this is off we'll obviously replace the thermal paste on both of these components rather than just jamming it back down with the same stuff in place those removed we should now simply be able to lift up a bit of twisting and there we have so the processor and the Nvidia GPU like I say we will refresh this thermal paste when we come to reapply them and we'll keep those together with the screws now next up we are just going to remove this wireless card module because I'm just looking to unplug the main board I'm not too worried about actually completely disconnecting it so I'm just going to move that pull the card up out its slot and just leave it there with the antennas connected just so it is out the way uh, just to allow us to get access to all the screws and bits for the main board and then we are going to just Peel up this lead, peel up the end, and hopefully just 
carefully unplug that from the main board as well. And then we have a couple leads we want to disconnect on this end. So this screw here, you have a holding plate which covers the connector for the screen. So we are going to again put that to one side and then we should be able to release the display port connector there. Again we are just going to have to pull a few of these little adhesive tabs and this connector here as well. Again, it is stuck just to the main board in that corner, so if we just lift that, and then we just have the keyboard and touchpad pieces here. So with those unplugged now, it should just be a case of removing a few screws here from the main board and then we should be able to lift it out as a single piece. We certainly don't want to be lifting it out as multiple pieces, that would be very bad. So we have three down this edge. Another here. So I've gone through and I've removed the final screws here. Sorry, just the doorbell went, so I had to check that. And now with those removed, we can just lift the main board and then just to free the ports at this end, we just need to maneuver it gently, be very careful, obviously, at and we have missed a speaker cable down in this corner, so let's drop that back into place, just to, I thought that was on a separate daughter board, in fact it may well still be, I don't think I want to separate that board completely, so let's get that Gently remove that speaker cable and then we can lift the board out all as a single piece. So with that done we now have a sheet here which covers over some of the keyboard screws. Now these you can actually access by these little flaps so if you need to go through and remove the keyboard it's held in around here with these screws. I'm going to clean things up and test things to see if the keyboard is working. Um, and really to reassemble this it's just the reverse of what we've done, so board back in, screws back in and get everything back together as so. Um, shouldn't be too much complex for tasks to reassemble. Um, and like I say I'm just going to dry out a few spots in this, um, fire things up with just the main board connected test the keyboard and then go through the, from there checking that nothing has been damaged on the system. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and um, be sure to let me know in the comments if there's any other information you would like to know on the system and thanks for watching.